of the Lord stand sure. He said, The Lord know those who are his. Praise God. So, in all those things, God knows his true followers. He knows the ones that are not followers. The followers are the ones that follow him with their hearts, with the whole of their hearts. And those are the ones that are chosen. And those are the ones that are known as the followers of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ made mention in Matthew 25, uh, 24. He said, many will come in my name and said, I heal this. I heal this person. I, 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 I perform miracles in your name. He said, God, he said, Jesus said, I don't know you. You walk out of iniquity. Yes. On earth, these were followers of Jesus. They were followers. Those were the people that were following God. But yet, God did not recognize them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Be a fruitful follower. Amen. Amen. So those are the things that we have to know as children of God. That following Jesus, there is something that differentiates us from us. I don't know if, if someone understands. There is something that differentiates a Christian from a Christian. Amen. A follower from a follower. Amen. 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 So we are going to open the book of Matthew chapter 20. Read from verse 20 to 28. Matthew 20, 20 to 28. We will see what Jesus Christ said to those who follow him. The Bible said in 20, Matthew 20, 20. He said that mother of Zebedee, Zebedee's sons, came to him with her sons, kneeling down and asking something from him. Is this a woman coming to Jesus Christ to ask Jesus Christ something? Verse 21, the Bible said, and he said to her, what do you wish? Someone kneeling down and crying. Jesus Christ, what, what is your problem? What do you want? What is that means? God is always there to help us. She said to him, grant that those two sons of mine may sit one on your right hand and the other one that are on your left hand of your left. He said, in your kingdom, verse 22, he said, but Jesus said to her, to say, you do not know what you ask. Then he turned to the children. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am about with? The baptism that I am baptized with. He said, they said to him, we are in heaven. Verse 23. He said, so he said to them, you will indeed drink my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left, it is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it is prepared by my father. You see, and when the ten heard it, they were greatly displeased with the two brothers. And Jesus called them to himself and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles, Lord, is over them. And those who are great exercise authority over them. Verse 26, yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desire to be great, to become great amongst you, let him be your servant. Verse 27, and whoever desire to be first amongst you, let him be your slave. Verse 28, just as the son of man did not come to be sent, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Praise Master Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible said, a woman that desire good things for her daughter, for his sons, Every parent desire good things for their children. Praise God. Because this woman know in Christ, in Jesus, there is hope. He wants his children to be close to him. And out of that heart, he does not want his children to go out from God. From that heart of hers, that love. The Bible said he came to Jesus with his sons and said, Master, please, I am begging you. 
And Jesus Christ saw her. And said, what do you want? He said that those two sons of mine, I want you to grant them. They sit, one at your right hand, and the other on your left hand. So that when that day come, they will be very close to you. Jesus Christ looked at them. I said, woman, you don't know what you are asking for. To sit at my right hand, to sit at my left hand, the cup that I'm about to drink, is your soul able to drink it? Can they baptize with the same baptism? Not to sit at the right hand is the problem. It's not to sit at the right hand is the problem. But there are requirements. Are you able to follow up? The followers of Jesus, there are things that differentiate them. There are cups they drink that the normal followers, the seafast followers, cannot drink from. Those are the followers of Jesus that are able to stand the test of every aspect of life. Every aspect. They are able to stand the tense. They don't cut short. You know, the, the, the thing to suit to their favor. Those are the real followers. The real followers of God. The one that they are, God Almighty has prepared for them. He has prepared that show, that right hand, and that left hand for them. It is for the right followers. The real followers of God. And those ones are not common. And those are the ones that God has called. That is what we are called for. It is not to be the fake followers. I would have named it like that. I would have, you know, titled it like that. Be the real followers. Praise God. Hallelujah. The real followers, the Lord has prepared it for us to sit at the table with him. But the fake followers will not be there. The real followers, what differentiates you? You cannot cut corners to suit yourself in the time of trials and temptations. That is the real followers of God. Those are the ones that the Lord has prepared that place for. Those are the ones that are risen with Christ. Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. He said, now that you have risen with Christ, he said, set your eyes above. Above where Christ is seated. Yes. Set your eyes on the things above, not the things on the earth. Those are the real followers uh, that are in that they are ready to face mockery. They are ready for whatsoever the enemy will throw at them. Just like Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. She was ready for that mockery because she knew if there is no mockery, there will be no testimony. She was a follower of God. She followed Jesus unto death. Even on the cross, when they crucified Jesus, the mother was there. That was why the Bible said that Jesus Christ cried out to his disciples. He said, hold your mother. He told him, woman, behold your son. Praise God. He was there when he was, she was chosen to conceive Jesus Christ. She would have said no. But because she wants to follow this man, he said, I don't care what happened. I want to follow him. For real followers are the ones that are ready. That is the people cut calls. You are ready. To say, I will not cut corners. When I say cut corners, you know that thing is a sin. But you will do it to get out or to get through. To what you want to do. What your desires. Are we getting it? Real followers of God does not cut corners. The wait upon the Lord for his right time. The wait upon the Lord for the time that is right, for the time of their visitations. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because when a child of God begins to cut corner, child of God, the heavens have already known, even the devil knows that you are fake. No matter how you speak in tongues, no matter how you sing worship, the two words know. The, the Lord, the, 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 the angels, they know. The devil, the demons, they know. Praise the Lord. So, well, now that we are called to follow Christ Jesus Christ, to follow our Lord Jesus Christ, those are the things to drink, to be able to sustain our faith, to be able to stand on our faith, our ground. When circumstances come, we are not just called Christians because we are going to church. We are called Christians because we have been called to a separated life. 
to a separated life, a life that is not common to everybody. A life that no, it's not everybody that can live it. It's not everybody that can live it. Praise the Lord. We have to know this. So we tread carefully as children of God. So we don't walk as people of the world. Luke chapter 9, verse 57 to 62. If you read Jesus Christ, the Bible said, A man said he wants to follow Jesus Christ. It's not easy. This kingdom here is not easy. It's not easy at all. If they said it is easy, they are lying. Because if the, if the, the system of this world that we have, it takes the grace of God for you to deny yourself. The thing that you know you are going to gain from, and you say, no, I am not going to, to, to do it because it's against the will of God. It takes the real follower of God to say, I will turn my face off from there. I don't. This kingdom of God is not, it's not easy as people are seeing it as meat, ah. as drink, as bread, as honey. If you are really a child of God, if you are really a follower of God, you will feel the effects. Mm. Yes. You will feel it. Yes. Sometimes you want to cry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you are a chosen one. Because you are the real followers. The one called and said, Jesus, Master, I want to follow you. I want to follow you in, in his heart. Every, in, the, in the eyes of everyone, we saw, they saw him as someone that is really faithful to follow Jesus. And Jesus Christ turned to him. You want to follow me? He said, yes, you want to follow Jesus. Jesus Christ said, I want you to know something. If you want to follow me, there's something you must know. The bears, they got their nets. The folks, they got their home. Where they hide when there is rain. Where there is time for the birds to go and sleep, there is a net for them to go into rest. I am telling you, me that you are saying you want to follow, I don't have a place to stay. The Bible did not tell us that that man said, I don't care. If you don't have where to stay, I will still follow you. No. The man did not follow him because he taught doing miracles, giving food to every man. So if I follow this one, I will have connections. If I follow this one, there will be breakthrough. No, I will follow this man because if I follow him, I, I am secure. I know my business will be secure. That was the motive in his heart. Jesus Christ knows that motive. And the Bible said, Jesus Christ, as he was going, and he saw another person, he looked at that person and said, You follow me because he knows the heart. There are people that said, I want to follow Jesus Christ. Say, you cannot follow me. There are ones that did not even ask to follow him. They kept quiet and Jesus Christ said, you follow me. Because the kingdom belongs to you. The heart I am saying, it is the heart of love. The heart is not, the heart you got is not to receive. It is the heart to give out. Yes. It is the heart to give out. Follow me because those are the kind of people I want in this kingdom. The heart that will not trade me for money. The heart that will not trade me for wealth. That is what Apostle Paul told the man. The bad Jesus has said, your money perish with you. Oh, yes. When he asked, give me this power, I will pay for it. He said, no, your money will perish with you. Those are the people that cannot trade Jesus for money. They cannot trade the anointing for oh, money. Yes. Oh, yes. Praise know. Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The re-followers of God. The re-followers of God. The kingdom are prepared for those ones. He said, the Lord, it is not what you ask for. It is not in my power to give you. But that position has been given to people. To people. And those people are the ones we are talking about. Amen. The followers of God. They are the ones that the Lord has given. The, those who are real followers. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. He said, he made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ. He has made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ. That is what he was asking for, to sit with him. But the Lord has given it to you and I that sincerely seek him. The ones who deny themselves and follow Jesus Christ. The one who give up the word and follow Jesus Christ. He has made us to sit in the heavenly places with him. That is what every one of us, we should know that to become a follower of Christ 
is not as people think it is. And if we don't take it sincerely, if we don't take it the way God plays it, we will lose our chance of being part of those ones that are called. Because there are ones called. Many, it is few, that are chosen. Oh, yeah. Look all over the world. Christians, Christians have the most populations in religion. Yeah. Christians yeah. have the most populations if we come to religion. But children of God is not all that are real practitioners of the word of God. Oh, yes. It is not all that are really following God the way it is. Jesus Christ Call another one. Follow me. And the Bible said in Luke chapter 9 verse 62. The Bible said when Jesus Christ said follow me. He said I want to go and wish my family farewell. And Jesus Christ told the person. Anyone who put his hand plowing and look back. Jesus Christ said it is not fit of this kingdom. It is not fit of this kingdom. That is how the Lord wants you and I to know that this kingdom of a thing is not just easy as people think it is. Except they are doing it in the way that we praise him. And we read that place for us, Luke chapter 9, 62. He said, but Jesus said to him, no one having put his hand to plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Is fit for the kingdom of God. No one that who say, ah, the world looking back, it's just like the, what happens to Lot's wife when she left Sodom. The Bible said he was going and the angel said, don't look back. And immediately she looked back, she turned to a pillar of, of salt. Praise God. That is what happened when people began to look back into their, their, their past, into their things that has passed. They turned to a pillar of salt. They are not moving forward. They are not going anywhere. Praise Master Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ, if you want to follow me, you don't look back. You don't say, this is what I want to do. I want to do this first before coming to God. Put anything in priority before God. God should be our priority. The one who follow God sincerely, his priority is God. Those are the ones that the kingdom is granted for. Is given by grace. It is given to them. Because those are the ones that have drunk. Those are the ones that have eaten mm. that flesh. They have drunk the cup of death. They are ready to pass through circumstances and situations. The ones that will say, if I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. I don't care what men says. It is only the word of God that stands. Just like the three Hebrew women, Daniel chapter, uh, three Hebrew men in Daniel chapter 3. Mesha, Shadrach, and Abednego. They said, okay, we don't care what you say in this matter. We don't care. We are followers of Yahweh. And the followers of Yahweh will remain. The Bible said they stood their ground. Even when the fire was being eaten, they did not change their heart. They did change their mind. That is real followers of God. And those are the people that this kingdom are prepared for. The Lord is preparing us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is preparing us. Let us not compromise. Because this is what he has prepared for you and I. Isaiah 45, 19. He said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. There is a reward for those people. There are rewards for those people. In this world that we are, there are people that are saying, Ah, why will you serve God? Me that doesn't serve God, I am rich. Me that doesn't serve God, I got this, I got that, I got this. And you that don't that serve God, look at where you are. Child of God, they don't know that there are blessings that goes when you are being blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are blessings when you think you have abundance, when you think you are rich. There are there is a blessing that supposed to sustain, to keep, to keep that blessings that will make you enjoy it. Follow me. That will make you enjoy it. When someone said, I am rich, I am wealthy. Everyone can be wealthy, but it's not everyone will have a blessed wealth. Oh, yes. It's not everyone. The blessed wealth comes only from God. Yes. And if someone is outside God and is blessed, let him just be waiting for calamity. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible said, He maketh one rich 
and he had no sorrow. No sorrow. There are people that are rich, they are in sorrow, in pain. Oh, yes, oh, yes, right on. They are rich, wealthy, they are in pain. Mm. Let them not deceive you. You are seeing them because they did not tell you what they are facing. Mm. Every time they come at the same car with the same clothes and shoe, mm. complete their car, everything all match, mm. and they will be going. And when someone sits there and says, ah, this one not the prayer, this one not the fast, though. this one not the, this one, ah, is this one, this one is not, is, is not fasting, this one is not praying, it's blessed. Who told you it's blessed? Tell him if he's sincere to come closer to you, you will say, those, those people, some of them, they are living their life with machine, it's planted inside of them. There's a machine that is planted inside of them that will make them breathe. When that machine is where they are gone. But we see them and say, hey, many people that does not have their the spiritual eye, they will say, oh, this person is wealthy. Yeah, so. He's not, he doesn't go to church, he doesn't fast, he doesn't pray, but yet he's wealthy. Go close to that person, they will tell you that you are even better than them. That's right. Some of them, if they are truthful, yeah. if they are honest to themselves, they will say, you are better. But you know, because man wants to think they are God, they can do without God. Oh, yes. They will be, you know, raising their shoulder. To say that they are, they are rich, but if you study them, every time they go to medication, yes. every time they take injections, right. if not, they will die. die. But this is someone uh-huh. that have to eat and something on, on, the, uh, on top of uh, his, head, his head to cover the roof on his head to cover him. But yet, you know, he's happy. He's happy because the blessings of God, no matter how small it is, you will have joy. Right. Please praise God. Hallelujah. So the followers of God, children of the Most High, there is a blessings when we follow God because He has not called us to follow Him in vain. Yes. In Matthew chapter nineteen, the Bible said in verse twenty, the Bible said that Peter asked Jesus Christ, and we are we understanding? Yes. Because so that you and I we have a root in Christ That's right. and face. The reality of Christianity. Yes. It is a life living. Yeah. It's the life of Christ to live the life of Him that have called us. Peter asked Jesus Christ. He said, We that have left you, Matthew chapter 19, 27 to 30. He said, We that have left our family, we that have left our houses, we forsake our businesses. What is our own benefit? There is reward, children of God. You are not seeking the Lord in vain. You are not dedicating yourself for the Lord in vain. You are not doing what you are doing for God in vain. It is it is not possible. Praise God. Your time, your finance, your gifts, everything, everything you are doing for God, it is not in vain. The thing that you endure, that endurance, not to bring shame to the Lord. It's not because I cannot do it, but because I don't want to mock God. Because I don't want people to see me and insult God. Because of that, I will endure. Oh, yes. There is a reward for those people. Amen. That is the real followers of God. I don't want to do it in my own way. There is a reward for those people. I have the, the, I, I have the ability, I have the, the chance to cheat, but I said no. I will not do it. I will not do it. Because I am a follower of Jesus Christ. Just think about the man that came. If you read from verse 1, Matthew chapter 19. If you read from verse 1, the Bible said, a, a rich man came to Jesus Christ. What was he asking Jesus? He said, Master, what good thing shall I do to enter, to enter the kingdom of God? What good thing if Jesus Christ was not a real follower of his father? That is an avenue. It was a chance for him to make money. Mm, right. It was a chance for him to make wealth, mm. to be rich overnight. Mm. It would just tell him, you know what to do? See me later. Mm. Because there are crowds there. Mm. Because there are people there. Mm. He would say, you know, see me later. Mm. And when he go to his office, he said, you know what? To see Jesus, to see enter the kingdom, this is the kind of amount that you will pray. You will pay this and pay this. There is no price there. It is not private to walk. It is not private to sit at the right hand. That's why Jesus Christ said, you don't know what you ask, woman. It is not something that can be bright. It's not something that can be bought. It is something that the Father has prepared for people that meet the standard. Hallelujah. Those people are few on earth. There are few. The 
They had the tendency to do something, but they said, no, I will not do it. They had the chance to do something, they said, no, I will not do it. Nobody is looking at them. Nobody is there. But they said, no, I got a fear of God. I, got a fear of God. Mm. I cannot do this evil against my father. Mm. I got to the word of Joseph. Mm. Joseph said, how can I do this evil against God? Mm. God was not there. Mm. Potiphar was not there. It was only both of them. And the woman was ready to keep that secret. Mm. He said, well, nobody will know. But he said, I will not do this against my father. Mm. My God. He knows that God was there with her. People that have the chance to, to manipulate, they say, no, I will not do it. They have the time to cheat. They say, no, I will not do it. Fornication is just around them. We men that are just moving around. There is no one who has control. Mm. But yet, he heard himself and said, I will not do this evil against mm. God. Mm. I will not commit this adultery because it's an abomination oh, before yes. my father. Those are the real followers that the kingdom is prepared for. It is not something that is chosen that will say, you are. You will sit down. You come and sit down. You come and sit down. No. It is something that has been prepared for those who loved him. The Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. It has been prepared for those who loved him. Those who love Jesus. It has been prepared for them. It is not something that is bought. He said, but as it is written, I have not seen it. No ear have, no have entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Those are the ones who love him. John 14, 15. He said, if you loved me, he said, keep my commandments. In other words, fear me and do not what I ask you to do. What I, I, I ask you not to do. Do them not. It was an avenue for Jesus to make money. But Jesus said, no. You know what the scripture say. Follow. And he said, I have observed all. Mm. Jesus Christ said, okay. Sell what you have. Mm. Come and follow me. Mm. In me there is an abundance. Yes. And Jesus Christ, after I said that, the Bible said, the man went away. So mm. Because I cannot afford to lose what I have for this man. If we are not afford to lose our esteem, ah. we are not, we are not, we can't afford, you know, to allow God walk his way through in our lives. We cannot follow him. We cannot be a real follower of God. We must be separated from the world and follow him because he wants the real people that will follow him in truth and in spirit. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. He said, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which God prepared before uh, beforehand. Ephesians 2 verse 10. We are his workmanship created in Christ for good works, not evil works, for good works which God prepared beforehand. He said that we should walk in death. That we should walk in time. It is what differentiates you from other followers. From the fake followers. For us to enter and enjoy his kingdom. Children of God, we have to know the works that he wants us to do. Fruitful works. Righteous works. To be able to bear. Long-suffering. Endurance. In his word. Those are the things that are not preached today because people don't like it. Those are the things that have went out from the church. People don't want to hear it. Because the time you want to hear it, there will be time you are preaching it, people will be sleeping. But it is something that is rare. It is what restores power. It is what restores the, the blessings of God in the life of a man. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord has Bless every one of us and he wants us to use it to the glory of his name. Jesus Christ, as I was saying, Peter, after Jesus Christ said that word, that it is difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. He said it would be more easier for the eyes of a camel to go through the eyes of a the head of a camel to go through the eyes of a needle. The, the apostles be, they became worried. And Peter
a, that is honest. It's an honest word. It's a, it's a, it, that question is not from greed. It is. It was out, out of, you know, I have left out of love, I would say. The Bible said, Peter said, and I believe that other apostles or disciples we have the same question, but they cannot ask. They cannot ask it, so that you don't think they are following you because of something. Praise God! Hallelujah! That is the honesty of Peter. That is why Jesus Christ gave him the kingdom. He gave him the key of the kingdom. Say, Peter, you are the rock. Upon this rock, I will build my church. Because he was an honest person, honest follower, serious person. And he said, Daddy, I want to know. We that have left our children, our wives, mm. our vineyards, mm. parents, awesome. what will be our, our benefit? <laughs> we have sincerely left them to follow you. Jesus Christ is not saying, you are evil. Why will you a stingy person, greedy man? You look at it, about you, you will be telling the disciples, oh, look at this person. Be, be, be aware of this person. Because it's a greedy person. Jesus Christ did not say so. Jesus Christ is not a man that uses men and dumb them. At all. He's not looking for people to use as the system of the world. Mm. Jesus is looking for people that he will give to because he is a giver. Yes. Jesus has things to give. He gives you what that you expect. Oh, yes, what that you think we are receiving, we are giving it. We are not really giving God anything. Rather, we are receiving from him. Because Jesus Christ knew that he did not call those people, his disciples to use them. Rather, he called them to a higher life. A higher life. Oh, yes, yes. He, called, he called them to a blessed life. The Bible said he answered them. Listen. From 27 to 30, the Bible said then Peter answered and said to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? So Jesus said to him, Assuredly, it's an assurance. There are blessings for those who sincerely follow you. There are blessings for those who seek God in the real heart. He said, Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you that in the generation, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sit on the throne of his glory you you everyone who have followed me we also sit on the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribe of Israel he didn't end there he said and everyone who has left their house oh, yes. brothers sisters father mother wives or children or and or or land, he said, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. Did you see the blessing? It's not wise, don't you? You shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. Eternal life. That's what money cannot buy. He said, but many who are first will be last, and the last first. Because they were careless with their relationship with God. That is what made them last. They were careless. They never thought that this thing is, 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 is beyond what they think it is. Just like what we are saying in the Christian dog today. Pray and make Christian. Christians that, that are not serious with their eternal life. Christians that are not serious with their love for God. Jesus Christ said, many that are first shall become last. And the last shall be confessed. Praise Master Jesus. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. What is the Lord telling us? There is a reward for those who seek him. The true Christians who seek the Lord, who desire to follow him. There are sincerely, who desire to follow God sincerely. There are blessings that the Lord have for us. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. I will, I will read and we will close, children of God. He said, 16, 24, Matthew. He said, then Jesus said to his disciples, if anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 
when he said deny himself, it is about for you not to choose the things that will please you rather than God. Not to do things on your own way. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't do things in your own way, the way which suits you. You deny yourself. If it does not please God, I am not doing it. If it please God, yes, I am in. That is the, that is the meaning of denying yourself. You deny yourself pleasure. You deny yourself. When I say pleasure, the pleasure of this world. You deny yourself of it. And you say, I will follow you, Lord. And do with me what you want to do. Praise the Lord. And I pray that the Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us close our eyes and bow our head. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, make me to be the real follower. I don't want to be a fake follower so that I will have a place in thy kingdom. So that when I call you, we answer. In the name of Jesus Christ.